This video is to explain to you how we recently had to do a field modification to the Liberty Square Towel Warmer. It's a towel warmer made by a warm-up. We do a fair amount of work with the, that product. Uh, as a remodeling contractor, we do a lot of bathroom remodels and we often offer these warm-up towel warmers as an upgrade when we're installing electric radiant heat. And, and people love it. It's a great upsell for us. And we like Warm Up because they offer unique designs. Um, they, they have a safe product, it's super easy to use, and extremely popular with the clients. So, we recently ran into Warm Up's Liberty Series towel warmer. We basically mocked up, I mocked up the Liberty towel heaters here in the shop so that I could show you on this video. Um, and what's required as well to, to wire these because they are basically they're best installed when you can mount um, when you can mount the non-wired side to a stud so i built a wall to kind of show you this but absent a stud you'd use a wall anchor so um because all four bars of the of the heater rod require individually uh, mounting and wiring the back side of the draw drywall access is required so you need to be able to get to the back of the wall open it up and like access in order to run these bars and wires to a junction box, or you need to cut away some drywall. So we, we mocked it up and, and we figured this can be accomplished in, in the following ways. You can install the bars on a, on a small piece of drywall first, and then the drywaller comes in and fills everything in after. You can open the back side of the wall, another room, access, which is complicated sometimes, or you can open up part of the stud bay to the right of the heater and reach around. So on my mock-up, I show I show a opened up exposed stud bay where we reached around and did a lot of our stuff. So here's a uh, a brief description of the installation and, and how we did it. I'm going to work through the fix as well. Uh, fastening to the wall is basically you're going to locate the height and location of your bar, level it over, level it vertically, get everything ready to go. Um, then you need to drill three eighths inch holes through the drywall. Now, uh, Warm Up provides a metal mounting bracket, and that's basically used to hold the wired side of the towel bars to the wall from the back side. That's why you need access to that inside of that wall cavity. The mounting bar accepts a 3 8 inch threaded nipple, one for each towel bar. And that goes, the threaded nipple gets inserted through the drywall, screws or threads into the mounting bracket on the back side. And then there is a mushroom mounting head that is on the bathroom side of the wall that screws onto the nipple. This mechanical connection secures the towel bar in place to the wall. Once all your holes are drilled, it's then time to install the, the mounts. And I installed the left side mushroom mounts first on the wall because all they required was, was screws into a stud. And then the mounting bracket next, which is the threaded nipple side on the right side. That's the wired side. Once I had all the th threaded nipples through the wall, through the drywall, I then screwed on those mushroom, threaded mushroom mounts that I talked about. To make our connections, to, uh, we, we basically, we installed a four inch J box and we were gonna use a, um, a single gang plaster ring to mount either a switch or a thermostat too. We, we did a switch in this particular thing. Um, and then we were gonna use UL listed flexible cable, Greenfield cable. And we use a 3 8 inch um, uh, redhead bushing to protect the cable at the insert. And the, basically the flex cable is connected to the J box through half inch knockouts and it runs to those threaded uh, nipples. So uh, once we did that, we were ready to go. Our, our cabling was in, intact, it was time to wire. And basically what we did is we just, you take the, the towel warmer, you slide the wires through the wall anchor mushroom and fish it through the flexible cable until it comes out of the J-Box. Once you've got the wires out, you can then slide the towel bars onto those mushroom connectors, and then they're secured nicely by these um, uh, grub screws that are underneath each bracket, and you use a little Allen wrench to do that. So uh, we wired a single, a very simple switch to control this towel warmer. 
There's a couple of interesting things about these towel warmers and controlling them that a lot of folks are not aware of. Most of the towel warmers, they require hard wiring to a power source, but they don't necessarily require a control. Um, the, the towel unit heating technology that is inside these towel warmers, they basically ensure that the device reaches 145 degrees in three minutes. So we, when we install these in bathroom remodels, we basically, we use three different ways to control them. We either do a manual switch on off, people switch it on, they take their shower, by the time they come out, it's warm. We use a timer switch so that you can use the timer to um, basically take a shower, nice warm towel, but leave it on afterwards and, and basically dry your towel. Or we wire it to a, um, the 4IE thermostat that uh, WarmUp has connected to the floor heat and it's customized. You can customize your program. Um, all really nice ways. It's a nice way to have a nice dry towel, prevent that moldy smell and all that stuff. Um, I like when we do floor heat, I like combining it with the thermostat because it gives you so many more options. You can wake up in the morning, the towel's already warm, it's gonna dry while you go to work and then it might turn off or depending on how you operate it. But they have that 3IE and 4IE thermostat controllers and they are great. Um, so look, sometimes, sometimes we've gotta make adjustments in the field. That's a reality for all of us contractors. While uh, installing it, we realized that we needed to make a field adjustment to the product. And we needed to do this in order to create a better connection between the flexible hose and the, uh, the towel warmer to meet code. Specifically, we were experiencing a problem making a mechanical connection between our flexible conduit and the warm-up 3 8 inch threaded towel bar mounting nipple. So short of using you know electrical tape and calling it a day so we were kind of scratching our heads trying to figure this out we didn't want to electrical tape it so we came up with a field solution we wanted to share it with you so what we did is to connect the cable to the to the 3 8 threaded nipple we used uh we used 3 8 inch flex armor cable connectors very similar to ones you use on uh led undermount cabinet lights um, and we basically tapped threads into them we used an M10-1 metric tap to create threads in this cable connector. This allowed us to then screw that cable connector onto the threaded nipple and be able to connect the cable to it and make a long lasting mechanical connection for our flexible cable. So these, these Liberty bars, they're single bars. They have individual wires and they can be mounted horizontally in a landscape fashion or direction uh, one on top of each other and that basically creates people like that They like to create this floating ladder look in their bathroom for aesthetics people love that stuff I'm Rob Robillard. Please consider subscribing. Just click that subscribe button below and we'll see you next time. Take care